guys, so I look exactly the same as I did before in my last video yesterday. Except for my bangs are kind of different. And this poofy part is sticking out like that. Um, I have the same double-sided ponytail because I didn't... Uh, my double elastic ponytail because I didn't brush my hair because I don't brush it. The last time I did was Friday because I went to school and I'm lazy. And I have to do a better job at looking better in these videos. But... So, I'm... Um, the top plastic's blue. The bottom is pink or red or something. Because I didn't want to take my brown elastics off the cardboard. And I... Leave them on the cardboard because I don't want my brown elastics mixing with my colored ones. And I just found a popcorn in my couch, which is gross. Oh my god. I'm going to throw out the popcorn, but and then we're going to get back to my Iranian New Year series because that's what this is all about. And... I had popcorn today, so I have to take it out of the couch and put it in the that garbage. That was so awkward. I, I found a popcorn in my couch. Ew, that's disgusting. But, um, so on Tuesday, I was thinking of doing, like, the sofra half scene. And that, you pretty much get a table. Well, we're doing it on the counter. But on the counter, we put this special kind of tablecloth on it. And we put seven things that start with the letter S on it. And we put other stuff on it as well. Um, and, but the thing is, I was thinking of doing that on Wednesday. Um, because I don't know, I'm like one video short, I guess. But maybe on Wednesday or something, I can do like a thing of our feast, like Iranian New Year, New Year's Eve. Cause I'm not, um, because we have special food and stuff. It's not really that special, but we just eat certain things. And I'm not sure if the sofraft scene is gonna be ready by Tuesday though to show you. I'm just gonna explain to you what's on it though. So, the seven things that start with the letter S, well, we do different things. First of all are these Persian flowers called sombols, and they smell like heaven. We sometimes put tulips on as well, but anyway, I'm going to take my charger out. I'm just going to sometimes put my charger in it. Yeah, but anyway. Um, uh... I'm just going to face it outwards as well. So this is our lovely counter. And these are one of our little kind of containers, I guess, for the sofa to have seen. Did it have bling bling on it? Yeah. Okay, I'm not really sure when, where these are, actually. Oh, check it out. Is that chocolate or something? Okay, well, actually, I'm not really sure where they are or anything, but they're pretty much, we got purple ones, and they smell so, so, so good. And I think those are supposed to represent, like, rebirth or flowers or nature or something. I'm just going to go in our living room to look for them. Um, but anyway, so we have those special flowers, and they smell really sweet. Um, next up, we put on, put these little green plants called sabze, and it's kind of a grass, you can call it. it. Smells really, really good. And I think it smells fresh. It doesn't have a smell, but... Um, and it's just so pretty. It's supposed to represent rebirth of earth and nature. And I'm just going to keep the camera faced out because it's easier. Um, so now I'm going to move on to the Iranian coin called Seke. And that's supposed to represent wealth. 
because it's money, which is great. And so the next one is apples, and we call apple seeb. Um, kind of imagine S E E B, but that's not how it's spelled. But just kind of imagine it like that. So seeb, and that's supposed to represent. I actually forget what what apple is supposed to represent. I think it's supposed to represent like rebirth as well or something. Well, I don't know. Apple is just a yummy fruit. Yeah, I keep forgetting apple. Um, next one's garlic, which we call seer. Seer is that how you pronounce it? Well, I don't know. Garlic's supposed to represent medicine and health. So, there, we put this dried fruit on. It's called Senja. And the fruit's supposed to represent love. And then we ha make this pudding, and it's called Semeno. And it's supposed to represent the superiority of Persian cooking because Persian people brag about how good at cooking they are. Then the next one is Somar, which is a spice, and it's supposed to represent sunrise. And other stuff we put on, we put a bowl, like a fish bowl with goldfish in it, and that's just for no reason at all. And then we put some Easter eggs Colored eggs on, just like Easter. And then we put on a mirror, which is supposed to represent enlightenment, I guess, because everything reflects in it. And then we have this kind of Persian doll. It looks like a Persian girl, and she has a basket on her head full of garlic, apples, pudding, fruit, spice, and that kind of stuff, and coins. And then in her other hand, she's holding a little pot of sabze the plant and then we put some of those on the table and then we put some candles and cards and stuff kind of whatever you want on it i guess and i still i think i remember what apple stands for actually i think it stands for beauty or something I don't know, I think apples are kind of beautiful, so I can, I think it makes sense. But that kind of educates you a little about the sofre half scene. And yeah. And on an unrelated topic, I'm going to take you guys downstairs, and I want to show you something. I was actually going, because um on Sunday, I actually wanted to, whoops. I wanted to do a what I got for Iranian New Year, because you get presents and stuff. And I know it sounds kind of bragging, but I see people do like what I got for my birthday, what I got for Christmas, so I thought it would be creative to do that. Um, and the reason why I'm not doing it on Thursday, which is actually Iranian New Year, is because... Um, I'm gonna go to a party on Saturday and kind of get more m money or whatever. I don't know. And I want to show you all that on Sunday, which is the day after. And I'm thinking on Thursday doing the kind of video of the countdown. I guess. But I just don't want to show you this on the day of, um... Thing, Cause I didn't actually get it for my um, Iranian New Year. I got it for my report card mark and stuff. Cause I got five A's and no, I got six A's and two B's. I'm not trying to brag, but so this is our family room, and this is kind of a house tour. I don't really want to do a house tour because it's kind of private. But whatever. This is the kitchen table where we eat. The formal living room, dining room area, the fancy table, and then we are in the living room, and that's my piano, 
because I take lessons, but I don't practice the piano because I hate the piano. And then we're going downstairs, and I'm only showing you some of the house. I'm not going to actually go in each room and show you, but... So this is the downstairs floor. We're on tile closet with all our jackets and shoes and stuff. Another kind of storage closet for random stuff. A bathroom and my room right here. Okay. So you will recall from my makeup collection these four EOS lip balms and my pot of mint juleps. Well, I kind of made some modifications. So, under here, this is my H&M lip balm. I'm actually gonna... I don't know, that kind of round thing. And then my Lush Santa Baby thing. And then this is my little caramel apple thingy. And then I have less stuff in here because I actually went and organized inside of my dresser and stuff. And I organized all my knickknacks and stuff. But I kind of rearranged everything because I got three more EOS lip balms. So this first one's vanilla bean and I was sweet vanilla bean or something. I was so happy when I got that because I love vanilla. Then this is just another sweet mint. And then this is raspberry pomegranate pomegranate raspberry and that's what i wanted to try and i normally don't like pomegranate scents but this smelled amazing and then these are just my two aeropostal watermelon and melon ones i think this one's watermelon and that one's melon because watermelon's darker like this color the dark pink so you would think that's watermelon but I remember being surprised when I found out which one was which. So that's all tight and snug in there. And this is my little thing of headbands. Because I did a headband collection, which is currently editing. And this is my jewelry box on top of my dresser. And I'm going to do a jewelry collection later sometime. These are also for my report card mark. These flower earrings from Claire's. All my earrings are from Claire's, actually. And they're these kind of, they look like gold on camera, but they're actually a pinkish white. And they're flowers. I think they look pretty nice. And I just didn't want to take them out of the purple package before I showed you guys, because I wanted to show you guys when they're whole and together. These are going in my studded side, and then this is my dangly side, but these are going in this pile right here and i'll take those out after i'm done the video and yeah so that's my iranian new year introduction it was kind of a house tour and a lip balm earring collection thing but that doesn't really matter because i explained to you you learned about the sofa i have seen and i hope you guys enjoyed bye